Hello and good morning. Are you surprised to see me? You shouldn't be. Google's doing an event on the movies and how can you do a film event without me? <laughs> Not possible. Well, that's me, Karan Jor, and I'm at your service this afternoon. What do I say? I love Indian cinema. That's why I'm here. I love it. I've been obsessed since, it, since I was a very little child. I grew up on film photo, I grew up on films like Avara, Kabi Kabi, Silsila, Amar Anthony, all the great movies we all grew up on, and inspired me to eventually begin a career in our Bollywood movies. I began as an assistant director to Aditya Chopra, I assisted on Dilwale Dulhanya Le Jayenge. In fact, you would know that I played a little cameo in that film as well, and after that, that's all I ever got was cameos. So my, my, Acting career was nipped in the bud because of Aditya Chopra. He gave me that tiny cameo and that was what I was reduced to even subsequently. But anyway, there are two reasons, ladies and gentlemen, why I'm here today. One is because I absolutely love Google. Who doesn't? We all love Google. Look me up and you'll find all my box office hits on Google. What you will also find are my box office disasters. Uh, but that is something I need to take up with the team. Maybe I could do some kind of like, like erasing from line, maybe perhaps, but we'll talk about that later after the show. The other thing I like about Google is what shows up when I search for my favorite topic, which is me, Karan Johar. Aha, that's what pops up. I look rather handsome there, though it was, though I think it was a decade ago. Anyway, when I got to know about Google's tribute to Indian cinema, I almost yelped. I'm kidding, I didn't yelp, I don't yelp, but I'm truly excited about this one and I'll tell you why. Before we move on to that, I will eat footage khā leta hun, and that's going to be sharing a piece of trivia with you. I'm going to say that when I search for myself, it shows about 654,000 results. So thank you Google for that early morning ego boost. Love it, love waking up to that. But enough about me, though I could go on. <laughs> I'd like to invite my first guest up on stage, She's wonderful, she's witty, and she knows her numbers even better than she knows my films. Please welcome none other than Sapna Chadda, Head of Marketing, Google Inc. Wow, Karan, what an introduction. Well, that's what happens, my dear, when you have coffee with me. Wow. <laughs> I have to warn you, though, I have zero zilch industry film gossip to give you today. Don't be silly. That's not a problem. I'll make up for the both of us. <laughs> I have enough to last a lifetime. <laughs> All right. So tell me, Sapna, what's happening? What, uh, tell us what is Google doing for this film-obsessed country of ours? Yes, crazy, obsessed, that's best described how we believe about Indian cinema. We're passionate about it. And interestingly, and not surprisingly, you see that in our online behavior as well. The Internet and Mobile Association of India says there's 350 million internet users. Majority of that growth is coming from mobile. And one of the most popular topics for mo on mobile and in terms of search is Indian cinema. In fact, one out of every 10 mobile searches in India is related to Indian cinema. Uh -huh. And what exactly do they search for? Well, this will make you happy, Karan. They search for you, they search for other celebrities, and much, much more. You know, interestingly, you'd be surprised to know that when you take Modi and Obama, two of the world's most powerful and renowned heads of state, together their searches are less than that of our very own the Bang, Salman Khan. Oh, whoa. Give it up for Salman Khan, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that is some amazing trivia. And here's a stat, Karan, that'll make you really happy. So much so that I think you might even give me one of those coveted hampers. Mm -hmm. hmm. So, in the last 10 years, more Indians have searched for you than Martin Scorsese and Steven Spielberg combined. I need to know why you're surprised. <laughs> I mean, what are you talking about? Who are they? Are they internationally renowned filmmakers who are Academy winning and aren't they just the brilliant minds in the business? No, they're not. Are they? You're tough. Uh, I'm telling you. <laughs> you just lost your hamper just because you were surprised. Ah, no, I was just kidding, by the way. And it's an amazing honor, I have to say. <laughs> I'm heartbroken. But no, I'm going to keep not. talking anyway. Please Maybe talk. I'll earn it some other way. Go on. So at Google, we have a long heritage of building products just for India. So Search, for example, we launched in 2003 in English. Soon after, followed with Hindi, Bengali, 
Tamil, Telugu, Marathi, and many, many more. Voice search, we launched in Hindi. And interestingly, even when you speak to Google in an Indian accent in English, we pick up and we understand what you're saying. In fact, India has inspired so many of our Google products. MapMaker, for one, I don't know if right. you're familiar with this. Right. When we, we didn't have enough data to build the Indian map. And so we actually crowdsourced all this information from Indians, and we built this map using MapMaker. They could update information on places. That product now is being used globally around the world, though it started here. And so similarly, when we saw what was happening with film and this passion for Indian cinema across the board with our users, we wanted to work to make sure that the experience was phenomenal. So that every, in, at the millions of cinema fans out there, when they pick up their phone and they want to ask Google about something, they get a delightful, rich, beautiful, immersive experience. Right. Well, so tell me personally, that's amazing, Sapna, and I think that's fantastic on a larger level. But personally, what have you been doing? Well, the team at Google, I mean, I'd like to take credit for it, but the team at Google has been doing a lot. If you think back to the early days of Google search, right. and you wanted to search for something, what did you get? You got 10 blue links. And that was the beginning of time. Over, over the last several years, we've been making that experience far richer. We, as our mission, want to make the world's information universally accessible and useful. And for it to be useful, it has to work on today's mobile reality. Right. And so we've been evolving that search experience so that it's not just answering a question. It's about a journey of discovery. What does that mean? Well, say you're interested in learning more about classic film stars. Right. Sanjeev Kumar is an example. I bet if you, you'd probably want to know more than just where he was born. You'll want to know what films he was in, what songs he's famous for, who he's worked with, what other actors right. he's related to, a ton of stuff that you don't want to type in one at a time, one right. after another. That gets boring. So what we've done in terms of this new search, ex this search experience is that we're bringing all of the goodness to one place. So when you ask one question, you don't just get the answer to your question. You get a whole lot more suggestions, interesting, useful information, and basically, we are just we're giving it back to the Indian user who's seeking it out. Right. So in addition to Sanjeev Kumar's bio, you'll see this carousel of his movies. I think the beauty of the film and the history of what he's done links to clips of his songs, which is something we've built for India, and also suggested results so that you find out a ton more about him. And in addition to this journey of discovery, we also want to make it more productive for people in their daily lives. So we use our phones to search for things like flight tickets. Right. Why not use search to book a movie ticket as well? So we've built that into search as well. So today, you want to look for a movie nearby, you search for showtimes, or you search for movies near me, and you'll get a whole host of options in your neighborhood on where you can go, and you can book right there. That's amazing. Sounds really cool. So it is completely cool. And that's why this is our tribute to the Indian users who are so passionate about Indian cinema. And frankly, it's our tribute to Indian cinema as a whole. Right. And no tribute to Indian cinema would be complete without paying homage to Bollywood and all of the millions of dreams it has sparked all across the globe and has brought to life over the years. So with that, here's our tribute. Lights, camera, action. I think Google really knows how to tug at your heartstrings. Thanks, Karan. Thanks so much. With that, I think it's time for me to leave. Thanks for coffee. Uh, and no hamper. Uh, no hamper. No. But Next thank time. you, thank you, thank Next you. Time. This is amazing insight. Thank Thanks you so, so much. much. Thank you very much. Give it up for Sapna Achadda, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Thank you, Sapna. Thank you. That was really amazing. Amazing insight. And thank you for that very extraordinary piece of, of, of film uh, that truly was motivating and exhilarating both at the same time. Thank you very much. Thank you. And now I'd like to invite to the stage Satyajit Salgar, Product Manager Google. Satyajit and his team have been working on building richer and better experiences on Google Search for the last two years. start Karan, I have to say something. I've seen that video a few times now, but every time I see it now, kuch kuch hota hai. 
Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> welcome, yeah. sir. <laughs> it's welcome. It's good to meet you. And now, at long last, I know, which is amazing for me, what a Google <laughs> engineer really looks like. You know, I'm really glad you said that yeah. because something that I think is missing in our Indian movies right now is there aren't enough software engineers in there. Uh -huh. Is that something you think you could work on? Maybe this event will inspire you. The like mm. action comedy based on a Google engineer. Do you think like it's a good idea? What do you think? Uh, you know, you could name it coder of the year or… All right, I was going to give you that hamper, Satyajit, but mm -hmm. after that burst of nerd humor, I'm going to uh -oh. pass. All right. Yeah. I'm going to totally pass on that. I changed right. my mind. <laughs> <laughs> so, tell us, what have you been working on? Sure. Satna's already shared her, her, her contribution. What mm -hmm. has been yours? Sure. So, our goal on the search team is to help people find whatever it is that they're looking for. Whether it's to learn new things, discover something, uh, to find a way to make a better decision. So now we've tried to do this from the very beginning at Google uh, and we organize all of the world's information for people. Now, obviously in India, Indian movies are a huge part of our lives, right? right? It's something that we, it's how we entertain ourselves, it's what we talk about, it's what we gossip about, it's what we daydream about. So ever since then, Google has been available and has been helping people when they turn to us for questions about films. Right. But even though we've been answering these questions all this time, something's changed. And what's changed is how people look for this information. They're turning to their mobile phones. And they want this information quickly. So, and they don't want to type. So we started to think about what the best product is for this device. So we started to give them products that give answers really quickly and let them explore content with just a few taps. Hmm. So why don't you show us more of what you're showing off about? That sounds great. <laughs> Shall we head to the center sounds of the stage? Come. Give All it right. up for Satyajit, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to see something exciting now. All right, Karan, why don't we start with... Uh, what's a question that you have uh, that you'd uh, like to ask Google? So am I go uh, well, I'm going to be nice to you and make it easy. So mm -hmm. let's go with like, which was the very first Bollywood movie ever made? Okay, Google. What was the first Bollywood film? All right, so as you see over here, uh, we answered Karad's question. We tell you that the first Bollywood film was Dada Saheb Falke's Raja Harish Chandra. But we also give you a little additional context. We tell you that it was a si this was the first silent film, that the first talkie was actually Alamara. And if you want to read more, you can click on the link and you know, sort of learn even mm. more. And what if I wanted to know more about Alamara? I'm glad you do, Karan. Alam Ara. So here's where we made a few changes over the last couple of years. Right on the top of search, we give you this rich card. And uh, if I expand on any one of them, what I can do is I can learn so much more about the film. I can learn about, I can see the description, I see the director, I see the screenplay writer, I see the music director. If I scroll a little bit more, I can carousel through the cast of the movie. I can even see other films related to this one that people are searching for. Now, for the casual movie fan, Karan, this is such a great way to explore films and learn even more. Hmm, I'm kind of warming up to this. But mm -hmm. it's not going to be this easy now, Satyajit. Uh -oh. Should I make it slightly tougher for you? Sounds good. All right, so my favorite Bollywood film ever has to be Avara, directed sure. by the legendary Raj Kapoor. The Kapoors, as you know, are the first family of the movies, so I want to know more about them. How do I find out? Sure. Uh, let's see what, if Google can help you with that. All right. The Kapoor family. Oops, let me try that again. Kapoor and Sons came up. The Kapoor family. All right, uh -huh. so a couple of things happened there. We figured out that you wanted to know more about Prithviraj Kapoor's family, and we gave you this list of actors that you can look at to learn more about. So I'm going to carousel through. You see Raj Kapoor, the great Shashi Kapoor, and you know this entire carousel of actors. And the cool part is I can tap on any single one of these. I'm going to tap on Shashi Kapoor uh, mm. and get this rich card where I can learn even more about him. What do you think, Karan? Amazing, but is there a chink in the armor here somewhere? Because uh -oh. I don't see Anil Kapoor and I know he's a distant relative of the family. So, I know only one way to sell that. Is Anil Kapoor related to Raj Kapoor? Is Anil Kapoor related to Raj Kapoor? Let's find out. Ah, Anil Kapoor's father, Surinder Kapoor, is Prithvi Raj Kapoor's cousin. Whoa. 
It turns out he is. Yes. Oh, and then we also have Ranveer Singh, who's related to Anil Kapoor. Yeah, and they've been in like a couple of films together, right? Just one, from what I recall. Let's you find can out. Ask that. Anil Kapoor and Ranveer Singh films. Whoops. That Sales. was interesting. Well, I don't know. Anil Kapoor Anything's and possible. Ranveer Singh films. Looks like there's been a couple. Well, Bombay Talkies was an unfortunate song they did together. Yeah, I know. Um, Let's pretend it's just Dil Dhadakne. Yeah, so I think we'll just talk about Dil Dhadakne though, yeah. I think. And so, these are the experiences we've enabled, right? So, now we have this rich experience where you can scroll through, learn so much more about the movie. With just a swipe, you can check out all the songs of the film. Another swipe, I see the cast of the movie. Now, I want to check out what Anushka Sharma has been up to, so I'm going to tap on her. Why? She's a good actress. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, uh. Checking. All right. <laughs> uh, I'm going to check out her latest films. So I'm going to tap on movies. Now I've been watching the Sultan trailers a lot. So I'm going to yeah. tap on that. And again, you can see, I can check out all the songs of the film over here as well. Now, uh, I'm going to pause for a second and just talk about songs. Because this is something that's you know, very unique to Indian films. So when we started thinking about building this product, we couldn't imagine it without understanding this intricate relationship between movies and songs, actors and songs. And so we built it for India first. But what ended up happening is this enabled us to build a better product for musicals all over the world. So now if I tap on any of these songs, in a single click, I can play the video on YouTube. I have this rich UI where I can explore all the artists associated with the song. So if I tap on Badshah, I get to see a lot more about him. I see who he works with. One swipe over, I get to see this list of all his music videos. And thanks to the work of some great partners in India, uh, Savan, Ghana, and Hangama, in a single click, I can actually play all of his uh, music on any of these Indian music apps. That's what do you think? That's fantastic. It's absolutely amazing. Wow. Thank you. Now, Karan, being here, I suddenly realize, uh, when's your next movie, Edil Hai Mushkil, releasing? Uh, yeah, I can tell you. You don't need to search. Well, but that. actually, but you're sort of... This doesn't let me do this, right? Oh. Edil Hai Mushkil release date. Wow, I have to wait till October? That's a while away, man. Well, I hope it'll be worth the wait. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure it will be. I can't wait to <laughs> watch it. Thank you. Well, that's amazing. Thank you, Satyajit. That was absolutely fantastic. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. And give it up for Satyajit, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. All right, so Satyajit may have left the stage, but there's no way I'm leaving just yet. At least not until I've done my signature rapid fire round. We've all seen how well Google knows Bollywood. Now let's find out how the audience, how much the audience knows about Bollywood, about the movie industry that we're all, we all from. So I'm going to actually call two of the members in the audience, members of the media here, to come and join me on this couch and do some kind of GK with you guys to find out how much you know about the movies. And there is a hamper at the end of this exercise, I promise you, not what we've just been insinuating, we will actually give you one. Um, so who, hands up for who's interested to kind of join me on this couch. Who knows enough? Yeah, come darling. Come you. And yes. Come. Oh. You I know will know everything. <laughs> so come. Okay. How are you? Come. Check. Simple enough for you. No, no. Here you go. It'll be for you too easy. But we'll sit on the on the couch so that you feel the whole experience. Okay. All right. Okay, this is going to be so easy. It's going to be, it's almost like basic and elementary and even, even more elementary than you can imagine. So, shall we start? This is a special rapid fire who, round. Who talks, who raises? Well, you, here, these are the beefs. You buzz. Yeah. So, one's a doorbell and one's a bird chirping. So as soon as you, the one, I either hear the doorbell or I hear the bird chirping in one of you, then I will, I will, why don't you share your names with us, everyone. I'm Rajiv Vijaykar here. Rajiv, I know, and you? I'm Kavi, I work for the California Press Association. Okay, you're Kavi, and you work for the California Press Association. Rajiv, we all know, is a, Rajiv, of course, has been a prolific member of the media, we've all known for very many years. I think Rajiv is going to be very well versed, so you better, like, 
tighten your grip on what you, what's going to happen. So, all right, if you want to cheat, you can also, also look up on Google, but you might get some minus points on that. But I'll have I'm, to get my phone for that. You'll have to get your phone, so should we just skip that whole process and just do it like as snappy and hope that we can tap into your inner recesses to find out all about what's up in the questions I'm going to ask you. All right, great. Uh, I'm going to ask you 10 questions, and whoever's the first to buzz, I go with you. And if you have the right answer, then of course you get that point. If you don't, we move on to the next, and blah, blah, blah. You know how it is. It's quite simple, and it's very easy. So what is, my first question is, and all of you, please do not prompt. What is lead actress Karina Kapoor's debut film? Refugee. Lovely. What happened to you? <laughs> The doorbell rang. Karina Kapoor it is. All right. Which actor has won the maximum number of Filmfare Awards? Bird chirping, doorbell ringing. Bird chirping, Are there negative uh, points to this? Mm, I mean, no, I, I won't give them to you. You can try that. Koshish karne walo ki kabhi haar nahi hoti. So you must try. I think it must be Amitabh Bachchan. No, incorrect. Shah Rukh Khan? It's Shah Rukh Khan and Dilip Kumar, both actually. They have equal number of... So that's two love. And here I was rooting for you, Rajiv. I thought you'd be scoring high, high points. <laughs> All right. Okay, I should stop then, maybe. Who directed the first silent movie? Um, what's his name? Um, why am I getting nervous? Um, Don't be nervous. I'm checking myself. Raja Harish Chandra, Dada Saheb Pal. Yes. Well done. One and two. All right. Okay. What is Anushka Sharma's debut film? Rabne Banadi Jodi. She goes again. The doorbell rang before yours. Uh, that's three one. Rabne Banadi Jodi is correct. What is Akshay Kumar's real name? Rajiv Bhatia. My God, where are you from? <laughs> and what do you do in California? Follow Bollywood. Yeah, that's what you do, right? I'm scared. I, you might know everything about me. Uh, uh, <laughs> This one's easy and it's my favorite one. What is the name of the dog in Hamab Kekon? Pluto. Right. What did you say? <laughs> Pluto? What, what, what is your answer, Rajiv? I'm getting nervous. You can't get it. That dog, that dog is iconic in Hamab Kekon. He <laughs> saved the day for Salman and Madhuri. He ran on that music piece, Radhe Krishna Gopal Krishna Radhe. Don't you all remember it? It's kind of cult. Like I, 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 I grew up, and I didn't grow up. I was quite old by the time I saw it. But I mean, it is a big part of my film memory. The cap was in Mene Pyar also. I want to tell you. Tuffy is iconic, I'm telling you. All right. We kind of gave you this hint uh, in the film that you just saw. And I think uh, uh, Vicky kind of already said it. But uh, I'm going to ask you the question again. Which fort was featured in the movie Dil Chata Hai? Uh, the Goa one. I don't remember. Goa is a name. city. <laughs> it's not a fort, it's a state. <laughs> it's not a fort. Uh, no, sorry. It's the Chapora fort. Is that what it is? The Chapora fort. All right, okay. All right, very quickly. What is Rithik Roshan's nickname? Dugu. And what is his father's nickname? Guddu. Well done. <laughs> All right, Dugu and Gudu it is. Sorry, is anyone keeping a score? I think you're definitely leading. Uh, but well done on Gudu. All right. Uh, which is not on my list, but there's a film called Gudu. Do you know who is in it? Shahrukh Khan and Manisha. Yeah, well done. Uh, but that was not part of the question. That was just me checking. All right. Which was the last question for you two? Who's keeping the score? How much is the lady? Six. Six. And Rajiv? Three. Three. All right. Rajiv, I'm sorry, this is one question, so you have lost already, but maybe for prestige purposes you should know this. Uh, which was the first Indian movie nominated for the Oscars? Um, um, Mother India. Mother India. <laughs> Google meet Wikipedia. <laughs> well, well, the hamper will come to you very shortly, but congratulations, my dear, you won. You won, well done. I'm very proud of you, Rajiv. Thank you for trying and being nice. here. Thank you. Yes. Good to see the fellow Californian one. Yes, fellow Californian one. You may now leave. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. This one's for you guys in the audience. All of you are competing, even the front row. Uh, these are very simple. They're called the Who Am I series. Who am I as in not who am I, uh, as in who are they, who I will talk about and give you hints. Very simple, very easy, very basic. Put your hand up and answer. 
um, and scream it out loud because you don't have a mic. That can stop now, no? No, no it's an incessant doorbell now. All right. So my father was one half of a hit story writing team in Bollywood. I made my foray into the industry as a director, but have won accolades for a recent landmark performance in a biopic. Who's I got it? Who said first? Was it you? No, no, that's what you, I think he said it first. He said it, Farana. You also said it. I don't know, now Google will decide between you two who won. <laughs> One of you, all right, okay, we'll, we'll give it to the lady. She looks, she looks fragile. <laughs> I might hurt her if I don't give her that hamper. All right, well done. The second one then, very easy again. I became famous in a movie about a man who disappears. Who said Anil, oh, Mr. India first? That gentleman there. I mean, that was enough for me. I thought that'd be enough for all of you as well. The rest of the clue is I made the moustache stylish as Lakhan and went on to be a part of an Oscar-winning team. My daughter is known for both her fashion sense as well as her acting. Who am I? No, no, we say, I know, I was just giving you. I got the point, darling. You won your hamper. Don't now push it. I'll give it away. <laughs> all right. Okay, there's a third one. Should we play the third one as well, just for fun? All right. I was born in 1970 in New Delhi, it's not me, I'm 72. Um, my father was the former captain of the Indian cricket team and my mother was an... He said it, but you have that tag, so you don't call it. Who has said... Okay, you got it then, all right. Well done, Saif Ali Khan, we have a third winner. All right, I'm done now, I can't play anymore, we don't have any more hampers. All right, that was fantastic. So our three winners, please stand up so we know who they are. One, and two, and you, it was you, Hi, how are you? Good. Good to see you. And so these are our three prolific winners. Well done. That was awful. Oh, that was awful, I'm saying. That was... <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you for being such amazing sports. You guys were amazing and really answered exceptionally well. So now comes the last part of this wonderful afternoon. I'd like to invite Rajan Anandan, Managing Director of Google India, to do the final honors. Please welcome Rajan.
been an amazing afternoon. Got to learn so much about all the amazing things that Google's been up to. Would you like to give us a roundup? Yeah, no, absolutely. No, I mean, I think, first of all, thank you for uh, being here. You know, talking about searching and information, you know, you are the Google of Bollywood. So I think we should give uh, Karan a big round of applause. Being really the Google. You know, we, we have, you know, we build these great machines that can process, you know, m you know, lots and lots of data and actually give you the right answer. It always amazes me how you're able to give the right answer. <laughs> well, yeah. So thank you for, thank you for doing that. You know. yeah. <laughs> speechless, see? Yeah, I'm so Sometimes speechless, you can yeah. actually make a computer not give you the right answer. Yeah. But you know, it's, it's, look, it amazes us how passionate Indians are about uh, Indian cinema. And you know, what was interesting was yesterday I met a number of content producers or content creators, right? In, in India, and one of them has set a goal now to get Indian content not just to the 1.2 billion Indians, but to actually three and a half billion people around the world, so, right. which is quite remarkable, right? And it always amazes us how passionate not just Indians are about Indian content, but how the world. I mean, it's amazing to see an Indian living in California being actually winning, your, winning, winning the hamper from you, which is quite remarkable. No, it's fantastic. In fact, I always say Google is like your mom. It has all the answers, you know. Uh, and, in, and sometimes answers you may not want to read, but they definitely have the answers, you know. And some harsh realities of your life and career just pop up all the time. So it's really like you don't want to go there, but you have to because it's available to the world. And what's also amazing is that it's your one-stop shop. That's the, one, the only way that I can really describe Google, that Google has now also become a part of our daily parlance, you know, it's like almost like hello and good morning and like Google it. It's as simple. So I think that's fantastic that a, one big brand that becomes a part of your day in an extraordinary way. I think so more power to Google. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Karin. You know, um, it's been a very exciting hour or so with you. Uh, we'd love to get your thoughts on what's been the one aha moment as you've seen Sapna talk about what's happening with the internet. You've seen Satyajit talk about some of the new things we're doing with search when it comes to Indian cinema. What's that one aha moment? Well, I don't know about one aha, but I love instructing people. So uh, when I, I love what, what, Raj, uh, what, um, what Satyajit did with the phone, like, you know, just speaking to the phone and instructing and getting what you want. So that was my most aha moment, I think, of the day, just saying that, hello, Google, or like, okay, Google, and blah, 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 and you get your information. So that, for me, was amazing. I think I love that feature. I'm going to start using it ASAP. So what, what are you going to ask Google to do? I don't want to tell of, you. Uh, come on, you can tell me. Don't be silly. <laughs> you, you can't ask me those kind of questions. You have no idea what all I'm going but to you ask do realize, <laughs> You do realize Google will know after you ask Google. It's okay, what you know, it's fine. I mean, you know, anyway, there's so much out there that one more piece of, like, part of your personal life doesn't really matter. No, but, like, I'm going to ask lots of things because, you know, down to, like, anything about like trivia that we are always researching. When we make movies, it's all about research. Emotional research, historical research, sometimes just uh, modality research. And I think that, you know, there's no filmmaker, I think, who can function without the functions of Google. So, I mean, thank you. Absolutely. And um, so, Karin, uh, you know, from the Google team, we wanted to thank you for uh, being so gracious to join us today. Um, so we wanted to give you our version of a hamper. Oh, okay. So let's bring out our version of a hamper that we can uh, current. So, um, you know, this is a hamper that has just about all the electronics that you might need. Oh, wow. And, uh, well, and almost all, actually. The most interesting one is coming right after you launch your movie, so we'll get that to you, too. <laughs> so let's give, uh, let's give Karan you. a big round of applause. Thank you. That's amazing. I mean, Thank you, Rajan. That's fantastic. Thank you. Oops, oops, sorry. Thank you. I'm going to keep that aside. Before, thank you. That's amazing. I'm, um, I, I love getting presents. It's really quite fantastic. It's, um, I'm overwhelmed, what do I say? Uh, <laughs> but thank you. I'm just kidding about that. But as they say, that Google ke saath picture abhi baki hai. Thank you, Rajan. Thank you for being here. But we would love to have Sapna and Satyajit back on stage for us to kind of pose together. And I'll give my left profile. That's what
तो गूगल ने बस इनवाइट किया था जस्ट टू काइंड ऑफ प्रेजेंट उनके नए फीचर्स है गूगल का इम्पैक्ट आज बॉलीवुड के बारे में बहुत सारी बातें हुई जिस तरह का इम्पैक्ट बॉलीवुड गूगल पे है और बहुत सारे ऐसे सवाल थे और ऐसे फीचर्स थे जिनके बारे में हमने बातें की उनके हेड्स जो हैं चाहे वो राजन हो या सपना हो जो हेड ऑफ मार्केटिंग सत्यजीत हैं तो उनके साथ बहुत सारी कॉन्वर्सेशन हुई हैं बहुत फीचर्स जैसे कि आप जानते हैं कि बॉलीवुड और गूगल का एक नाता डेफिनेटली है हम सब जैसे हमारे सर्च इंजन जो होते हैं बॉलीवुड की ओर जाते हैं वेन इट कम्स टू गूगल बींग सच अ लार्ज प्लेटफॉर्म तो बहुत सारी एक्साइटिंग चीज़ें हुई आप जल्दी में हम लोग मैं बस यही कहूँगा कि मैं सबसे ये कहना चाहूँगा और मेरी ये पर्सनल ये ये दरख्वास्त है सबसे कि वो जो लीकेज हुई है प्लीज़ डू नॉट वॉच द फिल्म ऑनलाइन फिल्म मेकर और जो है तो जो निर्माता निर्देशक होते हैं बहुत मेहनत जोश और जुनून के साथ वो अपनी फिल्में बनाते हैं एंड टू वॉच इट ऑन एनी अदर फॉर्मैट अदर दैन द फॉर्मैट दैट वॉज इट वॉज डिज़ाइन टू बी इज इन करेक्ट इज इलीगल तो प्लीज़ आप पिक्चर को सिनेमा हॉल में देखें कल रिलीज होने वाली है और प्लीज डू नॉट वॉच इट ऑनलाइन देखिए ये बहुत सारी चर्चा ऑलरेडी हो चुकी है इस बारे में बस यही कहूंगा कि जाके उठता पंजाब आप जरूर देखिएगा